Gold. Welcome back. I'm Rebecca Talley, staff writer here at Gold Bio. Be sure to check out goldbio.com for great deals on high quality reagents. If you missed part one of this video series where I discuss why you should use Evernote as your lab notebook and how to set up your account, go ahead and click to go back before starting this video. In this video, we'll discuss setting up Evernote as your notebook. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started here by looking over an example lab notebook using Evernote as an electronic lab notebook. Right here, we're going to see where this little notebook icon is. That Clicking that's going to open all of your notebooks like this. Um, and you'll see here I have three notebooks created that I added to this notebook or to this Evernote um, account for my electronic lab notebook. Um, the first one's just my lab notebook where I make my entries. And then I also have one for a manuscript and one for literature that's relevant to the project I'm working on. So I'll go ahead and click through my lab notebook. I added all the relevant contact information for anyone involved in the project. And I also added the supplier information. And for us here, it's Gold Bio. Um, then for week one, I went ahead and started off my entry. I date all my entries and then I added a protocol. Um, as you can see here, you can add pictures. So you can use the picture adding tool to upload any handwritten notes that you have and that's what I've done right here and then I also took the opposite approach which was using a table to input that information and so you could do it either way however you're more comfortable and then you can see down here I signed off after I completed my experiment um, took some observation notes right here um, and then here's what I did the next day and there's an image we added right directly into our electronic lab notebook and then signed off again. And then for week two, it's kind of similar. I'm in the middle of the project, so it hasn't been checked off all the way. Then for the manuscript notebook, basically what I have is different pages um, for each part of the manuscript. That way you don't have to scroll through a long word document to try to find what part you're looking for or where you need to edit. You can just literally click through whichever part you want here. To do this. So this is obviously not a real manuscript, but just an example of what how you would use Evernote to do that. And then for the relevant literature, I added some um, information that I found. This notebook doesn't actually belong here. I meant to delete it. Um, I added some information that I found that like applies to this project, um, previous studies done for this topic, and then anything that is relevant to any of the methods you're using or whatever. So you can see you can add it in PDF format, which is what I did here, and I'll show you. You can click that, and it's going to go ahead and open that PDF for you. There you go, and I'm going to go ahead and close it out and close the download window. Or you can go ahead and copy and paste information right directly into your lab notebook. So however you'd like to do it, there are a variety of options. And so that's kind of the project notebook that I created as an example. I also have the protocols here. And I've added just some protocols that I use very often. And right here you can see, so this one I took from Gold Bio. Um, and we have a bunch of variety of protocols on our website. And here's the link to get to this protocol right here. I added it. And I retyped it on here so that I could have my check boxes. And I'll show you how to use those in a subsequent video. You can also just copy and paste other protocols right in here. Oops. Um, you can add protocols in PDF form. I can click that and it's going to open the same way as the other PDF. So you can see that there's a variety of options. Alrighty. And so with that, I think it's time for us to start our own notebook. So let's start a new notebook. You're going to do that by clicking this notebook icon right up here with a plus sign. So click that and it's going to prompt you to title your notebook. Let's call our notebook Project 2 since I've already added Project 1 and let's make it our lab notebook and then you just hit create notebook and go back to your notebook window kind of your table of contents right here automatically generated um, and you have your project 2 lab notebook now we're also going to want to add a relevant literature notebook for that project so let's go ahead and do that project 2 well, I can't type today relevant literature and create notebook so there it is right here and then there's our lab notebook so as you can see everything on project one is under its own heading what that's called is a stack 
So basically you have a stack of notebooks and then notebooks with pages or notes within them. So to make a stack, you're just basically going to click on one of your notebooks and drag it on top of the other. And then you can give it a title, let's just call it Project 2, because this is all of our Project 2 information, Create Stack. And now you can see we now have a heading and we have both of our notebooks located under our, in our stack. So that's great. That allows you to organize your notebook however you, however you like to. Now that we have our stack and we have our notebooks, the next thing we want to do is create pages. So to create a page, you're going to hit this plus icon right over here. If you hover over it, it'll say new note. And then it's going to prompt you to add a title. Let's just make ours our week one entry. Hit enter, and then you can click done to save, or you can go ahead and start typing. I'm going to make one more so you can see how to do that one more time. Week two, I just click the plus to add it, hit enter, and then done. And so here we have our week one and week two entries. And you can organize your notebook however, you, however you'd like. You could do a page per day, a page per week, a page per month. It really just depends on how much information you have to add and how organized you'd like it to be. So there we have that. Um, so we have our stacks, once again, our notebooks, and our pages. And that's basically everything you're going to use to organize your notebook. So I, what, what, I like you, what I would like you to do is to go ahead and open up your Evernote account and add notebooks and pages to all of your experiments or any, for any project you're currently working on and then create a stack for that project and if you're involved in another project go ahead and make one for that and go ahead and get your kind of your backbone of your electronic lab notebook set up before moving on to video too. Thanks for watching. For more tips on how to use Evernote as your lab notebook go ahead and check out videos 3 and 4 of the series. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to visit goldbio.com for all of your research needs. See you next time!